There they are. There she is. The troublemaking pain herself. What's going on guys? I'm Renegade. This is my 2006 R6. This is my 1993 XJ600. Currently neither one of which are running. That's fun. This video is about the R6. If you notice, she's still naked. And if you watch my last video, you're probably thinking we're going to start in on some valve adjustments. You'd be wrong. I'll explain. So as I said in the last video, this bike has not been running. It hasn't been running for basically the entire time I've had it. Um, yeah, so far, this bike has had a, a rough history with me. So, just to recap for those of you who might be new, and maybe for those who aren't new subscribers, but it's been a little while since I've done a bunch of these videos on the R6, and this is actually the reason well, there's a reason why I didn't do a video last week. I'll get into that. But to recap, 2006 R6. It's been one of my dream bikes. I've always wanted one. Well, I got a chance to buy one. And this is, we'll take a side, quick sidebar. There's a lesson to be learned here. And it's about one, looking before you leap, two, knowing when you're beaten and admitting to it. So, 2006 R6, dream bike, always wanted one. Basically, since I started riding, because I, I bought my first motorcycle in 2006. Of course, mine was in 82, but at the time, the brand new Yamaha motor, or motorcycle, was this. So since I started riding, I wanted one of these. So it's pretty cool to have it in my garage. Um, but I finally got the opportunity to buy one. And it was $1,500. Eager, I bought it. Made a video about it, I was all excited. I didn't do enough thinking and looking and checking and everything. Turns out, I didn't buy a $1,500 motorcycle, I bought $1,500 worth of parts. Had to get a new frame, had to rebuild, basically put together a motorcycle. Now we're up to $3,000. Bike doesn't run. It doesn't run well, I should say that. It ran, but it didn't run well. Uh, it was rough to start, it had a rough idle, real sluggish uh, throttle response. Everything that when you look online tells you valves. Now at this point I had already gone through all of my knowledge of internal combustion motors. <clears throat> check the spark plugs, check that they are getting sparked, check that there's fuel, check that the fuel is getting to where it belongs, check that there's air and there's no clogs and etc etc and everything seems to be working and nothing seems to be working at the same time. <clears throat> The research online, all right, I had heard about it, and it was valves, I didn't want to believe it, because it's a pain to do. I mean, it's not super difficult, but it's not an easy project. <sighs> do a little more research on it. Sounds like the valves. Fine. Do a valve adjustment. First, I check the valves. They're all out of spec. We're talking about what should be somewhere around 0.15 millimeters is sitting at about 0.02 millimeters. Big difference there. Clearly, the valves are all out of spec. Need to be adjusted, everything like that. Cool. Go to do the adjustment. Now, this is when storytelling comes into play because Ultimately, when you make a YouTube video, there is a storytelling aspect that has to be considered. 
right? So I did the valve adjustment. I checked it, I adjusted them all, got everything dialed in. Did all this with the camera. So I'm recording this video. And then I go to start the bike. The bike doesn't start. Now, okay, on one aspect, I have a full video worth of footage explaining how to go about doing the valve adjustments, how to check them, how to adjust them, the whole nine yards. But I do this video under the premise of this is what's wrong with the motorcycle, this will get things squared away, if this is what's wrong with your bike, this is how you fix it. And there's no conclusion because the bike doesn't start, it doesn't run, I don't prove my point. I don't know about you all, and if you're different, please tell me down below in the comments, but to me, that is an unsatisfactory video. And that would drive me bonkers. I couldn't put that out. So I didn't put out a video last week because that was going to be the video last week was going to be, here's how you do your valves. And I spent all this time doing this video and the <sighs> Okay, so if it's not the valves, and they're all dialed in, the valves are great, the timing is great. If it's not that, why isn't the bloody motorcycle running? Well, Look farther into it. Now this is the point also that I will tell you all that when I bought the motorcycle, it was considered a non-running vehicle. And that is because the cylinder one spark plug port had stripped out threads. I had to go in and re-thread that port so it could have a spark plug so there can be a spark plug for cylinder one so the bike didn't run when I bought the motorcycle and this was explained to me like duh okay no problem that's an easy fix I can do that oh I wish I had thought more so when looking before you leap and looking into things better comes into play because I didn't do that. I bought what I thought was going to be a cheap motorcycle, especially when, it, you know, it's my dream bike. No such nice. That sucks. So, delve farther into the possibilities of this issue. Do a compression test. Compression's way off. I have, if I remember this correctly, anywhere between 80 and 100 PSI, 120 PSI I think was the max, across the four. All at random levels too. I think cylinder one is like 80, cylinder two is like 100, cylinder three is like 90, and cylinder four is like 120 or something. Well that ain't right. It's supposed to be about 240 PSI per cylinder. That's your compression. <sighs> well, f so the next test to do would be to see if we're talking about a massive leak or if we're talking about bad rings. To do that test, you simply drop a little bit of oil into your spark plug port so it goes down into your cylinder and your combustion chamber coating the walls and creating a temporary new seal around your pistons crank it getting over 200 psi of compression on all four this means that the piston rings a shot. <sighs> Means the motor is a sick puppy.
Yeah, it's a sick bitch. This is when knowing when you're beat comes into play. What started off as a $1,500 motorcycle project quickly became 3000 quickly became more and more as time goes on. And the bike still isn't running, and now the motor has a major issue. Bad piston rings. This is when a normal person on a budget would tap out. So I can't do it. It's too much of a pain. It's too much of a cost. I'm already 3,000 some odd into this bike. And now we're talking about major motor work. Like I said, a normal person should tap out now. If they don't have the money to take it to a mechanic to redo everything. Unless, of course, you are a mechanic and you have taken apart motors before and you have rebuilt them and gotten them back to a running situation. For those of you who do not know, my 87 Volvo 245 that is my daily driver I took apart and rebuilt the entire motor a few years ago which has been running ever since time to do it on the R6 so as I'm making this video parts are on their way piston rings, gasket set, bearing sets they're on their way. I figure I'm going this far, I'm even gonna replace the clutch. Because obviously, this bike, which is not that many, you know, it's not that old. You know, it's a 2006, so it's still fairly new, at least in my opinion. I realize that it's, you know, over a decade old now, but, you know, hey. And it's only got 30,000 miles on it. Must have had some rough abuse. So we're gonna replace the clutch as well at the same time. So after everything is said and done, I replace the bearings, I replace the piston rings, I replace the gaskets, I replace the clutch. For all intents and purposes, I'm basically gonna have a brand new engine for my 2006 R6 that I've wanted since 2006. This is gonna be fun. And yes, don't worry, I'm gonna take you along for the ride and show you the whole thing. So, time to get back in the shop mode. Renegades are rebuilding an engine. <laughs> Hope you guys are looking forward to it. We're gonna start that basically as soon as I get the parts. And yeah, we'll be rocking and rolling. So if you're not already subscribed, please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Hopefully this isn't going to take long and I'll have this bike on the road very soon and I can start it on other cool projects. We'll see. Yeah. So, waiting on parts. Hope they get here soon. You have a good one. Keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to keep taking care of business. See you in the next one.